Africa is home to the world's youngest and fastest growing population, but what does the future hold for them with inequality so high and opportunity so few? South Africa in particular has some of the highest youth unemployment rates in the world. According to official figures, 61% of those under the age of 25 are jobless. But there may be a solution. I think the thing that's most special about tech in an African context is its transformative potential. I mean, tech is changing people's lives, businesses, lifting societies, driving economic development. There's a reason they talk about connecting the next billion people. It's a huge population in a fast-paced, growing, young population. Africa Tech Festival, the largest of its kind on the continent, dwelled into topics of connectivity, digital inclusion, enterprise transformation and emerging technologies and how critical it is to make tech more accessible. Bridging the digital divide is really still the biggest problem. Working on young people developing the necessary 21st century skills, I think in South Africa is really fallen far behind. Global technology leader Huawei is certainly helping to shape Africa's digital future, but other Chinese companies are also making an impact by enhancing connectivity and ensuring every corner of the continent is plugged in. So for my uh, product, uh, Tongze Kanwei 4G, 5G CPE, Japan, our main customer is operators. So operator will give my product to such as household, such as a small enterprise, such as uh, who is traveling on the way with my uh, pocket Wi-Fi device. So anything you can see that wired cannot achieve my wireless can achieve. I see the bright future of this continent, uh, and I think we will have a much better future. Yes, in terms of technology and uh, the life of people. In terms of the development, we have developed for several decades, and especially in satellite communication, we start with company, we are leading the new generation of phased array antennas and flat panel antennas that can work under multi-orbit. For many at the event, affordable innovative tech isn't just about adapting to the digital age, it means economic growth and shaping the African continent. The great thing about the tech that's coming out of China is that it is coming into Africa incredibly affordable. It is coming in at a very lower, um, lower cost point that the average citizen who is at a, an LSM rate of one to three can really be able to afford a smartphone that can do enough but doesn't cost their monthly groceries uh, amounts, for example. This event is not just sparking Africa's entrepreneurial spirit, it's reshaping the technological landscape and unlocking vast opportunities across the entire continent. Julie Shara, Sijtian, Cape Town, South Africa.